So I wanted to do a review on the Atazuku or Atazuki terrarium that I got and uh, I've only owned it for about three days now but I'm deciding to do a review because I don't think it's going to fall apart anytime soon even after three months. It's a very well built terrarium. It's got a screen top just like all terrariums that you can cover up if you want to hold in more humidity by just putting a piece of plexiglass or acrylic over top of it or something to cover it. And uh, I like how the lid is a lot thicker than your average terrarium. It's very well supported and I think it's uh, held together very good. It's got the sliding uh, glass front doors with um, the lock that keeps it in place like that. It's not really a lock, but it's a clip that holds it closed, which is pretty cool. I got the heating pad on the back, but uh, yeah, this terrarium is very nice. It's uh, the dimensions of this terrarium are 24 by 18 by 24. And uh, another thing I like about this terrarium is that it has the, the metal vent on the front which on other terrariums I've seen is plastic. I prefer this way with the metal. That way the plastic never cracks and it's got all the ventilation holes in it. It's pretty cool. And the bottom of the terrarium is quite thick too, just like the top. So it's very well supported, this whole terrarium. And I'll give you a look at the side. So the Atazuki terrarium it's very nice. I'm really liking it. And I'll show you how this, the doors open up too on it. Oh, by the way, this is not a, a switch to open the screen or anything like that. It's just the logo, which says the name brand on it, at Atazuki. And it's got some uh, clips that hold the... Uh, that you press forward to take the screen top off. It has four clips, two on this side, two on this side to take the screen top off. And it also has these openings right here, what I was un unsure of if this terrarium came with it, but openings where you can put wires if you wanna run a, a waterfall or a fountain or a fogger or anything like that, you can just open them up. And the clip goes from the outside, so when you take the screen top off, you could put the wire in like this, turn it around, push it to the side, and then close it a little bit so your animals aren't getting loose. Keep it closed with just the wire in there, which is pretty cool. And it has four of these, so you could have multiple things going on if you have other accessories you would like to hook up with your terrarium. So it has one here, one here. One on the other side here, which I have a, a digital th thermometer hygrometer hooked up inside my terrarium on this side. And then see how I closed it and just left it, left it re resting on the wire. So that way nothing can, can get out through here, which is probably not big enough for anything to get out either. But And then it has one over here too. You can just open these up and... very cool right I like that I like those little features that's pretty cool and that's the digital thermometer hygrometer I was telling you about and uh, here's the other side of the terrarium so these are the knockdown build at Atazuki's that you can put together yourself they just come in a box like a flat box that's has the terrarium in it I took the terrarium out, it's not in it anymore, but this is what it came in. I was going to do a, a put together video of how I put this together, that Atazuki. Oh, it's upside down. So once again, this is the Atazuki terrarium. Oh yeah, I said I was going to open these front doors for you so you guys see how it opens up. I have a crested gecko in here right now, by the way, so 
So you can open the one side and you get access to the terrarium this through, this through here. Or you can, it has these little uh, grip things on it too, so you can slide the door open. They don't work that well, they're not that. I don't think they're really big enough for really to get a grip of, to tell you the truth, but it's okay, you can still open it and slide it with your hands. And the other side, yeah, like I said, the grip doesn't work that well to like, oh. So you have to keep sliding, but but I could I could open and close it through the other side like this. I do like this. Oh, we'll close her up. Make sure the other side's closed. Really good. The only one flaw that I can say that really came with this terrarium is that these glasses don't stay straight here. So this glass was not cut. in a perfect straight line, more of a 90 degree angle it's cut on, but that's no big deal. It doesn't stop the gecko from not, well, it doesn't stop the gecko from, from getting out, but it, I mean, it keeps the gecko in, even though the, the line is not straight. There is no openings. This gecko cannot get out of here. It's secure in there when there's no spaces or anything like that. So it stays closed, which is perfect. Okay, so once again, this is the Atazuki. This is uh, my review on it. And it is only three days in that I've owned this terrarium for, so I will most likely be doing a follow-up video. But just wanted to give you this video for now, let you know how it's working out. I do intend to get a, a background for the back wall for it. And... Uh, and a waterfall to make this terrarium look really even nice and more naturalistic. And I'm gonna get a lot of more artificial plants and stuff to put in there from the gecko. This is what I have for now. So thank you for watching the video on the Atazuki Terrarium. That is a knockdown build. It's a, the glass doors knockdown build Atazuki. Okay, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.